perhaps the single most underrated composer in music history. Overlooked, dismissed, yet enjoyed by millions. You ever have a, a double bacon cheeseburger? What he created transcends time, began a legacy of people singing something once, and, out of sheer enjoyment, continuing to sing it. They say Elvis stole music from black people, but most people don't know that black people stole music from me. That's right, folks. It's traditional. Donny traditional. The rarely uttered full name of this musical legend. It's time his music story be told. This is VH1 Behind the Music. Donny traditional. Donny Traditional was born Donathan Franklin Traditional in 1826 in Smallton, Arkansas. He was born in a log cabin to, at best guess, a virgin mother. Although there was always a guitar in the home during his childhood, Donny was not allowed to play it. It was always just sitting there in the living, bath, reading bedroom. But it was Uncle Streety's and I wasn't allowed to touch it. So I would spend 16 hours a day just staring at it in the corner. And that's how I learned to play. Soon Donnie would trade in an old pair of sugar cubes for a guitar of his own, and thus, he began. It all began one day when I noticed that my Aunt Rhody, her, her old Grey Goose Gumba, had passed on. Aunt Rhody loved that old Grey Goose and loved him like none other. She loved him like a child. I knew she'd be devastated, but someone had to tell her. So I did what I could. I wrote her a song. People like a song, you know? Good talent, Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody, go tell Aunt Rhody, the old gray goose is dead. She died in the mill pond, she died in the mill pond, she died in the mill pond from standing on her head. It wasn't just trivial stuff, no. My songs became my ally. My way to cope with the world around me I didn't understand and was afraid of. That's where oats, peas, beans, and barley came in. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. You and I will never know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. It's true! You and I will never know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. This was the golden age for Donnie Traditional. He was the most prolific songster in America. A true American, he wrote songs for both sides in the Civil War. I should love my beloved Dixie, but... I knew in my heart of hearts that it just wasn't right to be making people do work for you. So I did what I did in those days. I wrote songs. People like songs, you know? But as Donnie came to learn, nothing good ever stays. Things went south fast after the death of Donnie's beloved Aunt Rhody. I broke down and I, I started doing morphine. People like morphine. He tried to remain strong and optimistic through the time. But it was Christmas, and Donnie was all alone. Oh, oh, no. Nobody home. Hey, oh, nobody home. No. Nobody home. But things began to look up for Donnie when he met and fell in love with Clementine Nadir. Oh, I loved her so. I had to name my beloved string stick after her, which in those days was like tattooing the names across your rumpus. Having just recovered from the sudden loss of Aunt Rhody, Donnie was fragile, yet ready to live again, until tragedy struck. It was just mine one day, like always, and walking around and... and... and oh, Clementine! Oh, my darling. Oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, thou art lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine, drove she ducklings to the water every morning just at nine, hit her foot against a splinter, fell into the foaming brine. Uh, I, I turned my head for just one moment and, and oh. Damn her and her big feet. She she stubbed her toe on a on a splitter and fell into the foaming brine. But alas, I, I I I was no swimmer, so I lost my Clementine. But alas, I was no swimmer, so I lost my Clementine. Oh, 
Those, those were my heartfelt lyrics about my love, Clementine. And they, they were stolen from me by that snake in the grass, Percy Montrose. But after years of isolation, Donnie Traditional is back with a song on his lips. <laughs>